and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am excited to share with you my project, building a scale radio controlled model of the Mercedes SLS AMG. This is not an average model car project as it requires a lot of work, dedication and patience to create a scale replica that looks and functions like the real thing. This is why today, for the 8 years anniversary of this project, I published this video. In the past, I produced videos along with the finished parts of the car. The areas which I addressed seemed to be chosen arbitrarily but there was always a reason and a certain order to follow so in this video, I'll be sharing with you my roadmap for the project and giving you a sneak peek of what you can expect to see in future updates. If you think this project deserves more attention, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and like this video in order to help me and my channel grow and reach out more people. Furthermore, if you wish to help me with getting new tools, you can always send a dollar or two to my PayPal, please see the link in the description. From assembling the body and interior to testing the drive and refinements and finally preparing and painting the body, there's a lot to cover. But fear not, as I am up for the challenge and eager to share this journey with you. So, let's dive in. Phase 1, Body and Interior Assembly. Assemble the engine hood. This involves putting together all the parts required to create the engine hood, such as the hood itself, the hinges, and the latch mechanism. To make the hood functional, I need to build a hinge and a mechanism that will allow it to be opened and closed like a real hood. Ideally, the latch will be controlled by a servo motor. Finish engine compartment with all scale details. To create a realistic engine compartment, I need to add all the necessary details, such as water and oil lines, power lines and channels for real power lines. Build doors. The gullwing doors are one of the most iconic features of the Mercedes SLS AMG, and I need to build them from scratch for my scale model. This involves creating the doors themselves, as well as the windows and sills that surround them. Headliner and interior fabrics. The interior of the Mercedes SLS AMG is just as important as the exterior, so I need to add all the necessary details, such as the headliner and remaining interior fabrics. The trunk. In addition to the engine hood, I'll also need to create a functional trunk lid. This involves building the lid itself, as well as the hinge that will allow it to be opened and closed with the latch. To make the trunk of my scale model look as realistic as possible, I need to add all the necessary details, such as a duffel bag and other items you might find in a real trunk. Lighting of everything. Adding lighting to my scale model can help bring it to life, so I need to install lights throughout the car, including the headlights, taillights and interior lights. The headlights and taillights are an important part of the car's design, so I need to build them from scratch and make sure they look as realistic as possible. This will involve heaps of LEDs and resistors. Body details. To make my scale model look as close to the real thing as possible, I need to add all the necessary body details, such as the hood vent, side vent, grille, license plate, mirrors and other features. Spoiler question. One important feature is the rear spoiler on the trunk lid. I can't decide whether I want a fixed spoiler with carbon fiber optics like in the final edition or a black series. Or maybe I'd prefer a retractable spoiler, I am not sure, so I thought I'd ask the community to give their opinion. Please do me a favor and leave a comment down below and tell me which type you would prefer. A fixed spoiler or an automatically deployed spoiler depending on the speed. Rear windows and windshield. Adding realistic windows to my scale model will help bring it to life, so I need to create the rear windows and windshield. To make my scale model even more realistic, I will need to add a functioning windscreen wiper system with an infrared rain sensor and water channels. Rear shelf. To make the interior of my scale model look finished, I need to add all the necessary details to the rear of the car, such as speakers and other interior components. Assembly of electronics and brake system. To make my scale model functional, I need to assemble all the necessary electronics and brake system components. Phase 2. Test drive and refinements. 
chassis and drive shaft finalization. I need to redesign and print the front lower wishbones of the model in metal material for added strength and precision as plastic didn't do the job last time. Also, I need to buy and mount harder rear suspension springs to improve the car's handling and reduce body roll during turns. The drive shafts from Traxxas are built the same length and need to be modified and welded to the correct length. After having assembled all the electronics, including the brake system, I will need to program all of the electronic components to ensure they function properly and work together. A big sub-project of building an RC car of this size would be assembling a test stand to simulate real-world driving conditions and to test the car's performance and handling. I'll have to make sure that the test stand is stable and safe to use and that it is able to replicate various road conditions like dry or wet pavement. My goal is to also test several metrics such as acceleration and braking performance. Finally, in phase 3, I will prepare and paint the body of the model car. This involves disassembling the model, cleaning up the workspace and properly ventilating the room to protect myself from harmful fumes during the painting process. I will also smooth out the body with sandpaper and make any necessary adjustments to the hinges and other components to ensure a clean and even surface for painting. Once the paint booth is ready, I'll clean the body of the model car thoroughly to remove any dust or debris. After having applied layers of paint and clear coat and having sanded and polished it, I can finally mount everything back and create a video showcasing the final product and all of its features. And if you haven't seen it by now, this picture is quite odd. I totally relied on AI image creation for this one, well. As you can see, building a scale RC model of the Mercedes SLS AMG requires a lot of work, dedication and patience. But the end result will be worth it. I am excited to continue working on this project and share it with you all. Stay tuned for future updates and let's get building.